In this short video I'm going to talk about how to get rid of your EXIF data on your photographs. If you go to um, something called Abilon EXIF Cleaner, which is a program I've got here, and if we just load, up, load this up, it's very, very simple and basic. This here is just to warn you about removing someone else's copyright, etc., which is, you just close that. Anyway, it's a very simple program. Uh, it's by a company called Abilon, and I'll give the details underneath the uh, video in the description. And you can, you can clean one image up, or you can clean batches up of images in folders, and it's a... Uh, you can, you can clean up your EXIF data in Windows, but it takes a long time if you've got a few folders you want to you wanna do. And it's, um, it's, this, this is a much easier method, and it's, it's very simple, and it works, and that's the main thing. So what we're going to do here is, um, at the top here, it just has close, file, add, and add folder. Um, so what, we're gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add, add folder, and I've got something called landscape folder on the desktop, which is this here. You just pop this in and your files come up. I've got about uh, half a dozen images in this folder just for demonstration. And it was done by a, a Fujifilm camera uh, about seven, maybe uh, six, seven years ago, something like that. Anyway, on each of these, it has the EXIF data and on the right, it has um, your camera model, uh, date and time you took it, uh, your aperture, exposure, and many other things relating to your photograph. And you can't get rid of that in camera because your camera records all these things. So this here is, you could clean that image up by just clean up selected image, image or images. Uh, but want to clean them uh, clean all these ones up. So you just um, you just copy and you just go down like this. And it's such an easy and it's accurate. And if you want to put your photographs on social media um, or sharing sites like Flickr, um, and this takes all your EXIF data away. Um, I don't like leaving EXIF data on, and I know a lot of other people don't either. And um, just basically a privacy thing really um, so anyway you just clean up the images uh, clean all images and there you go so now it's in EXIF formatted information found on so on each of these now there's a message to say that everything's been cleaned up so all your EXIF data has been removed um, and that's it really and you can email as well on this you can yeah, you can go to it's only 50% quality or you can change that. So if you wanted to, to email these photographs without any EXIF data, you can do that. As I say, a very, very simple program, but a very important one for, I know for me, it, it really does help. Um, and I know a lot of other people don't want their image information um, posted and that on, on I, I use Flickr a lot. Um, but on other sites, I know Facebook take off the EXIF information by default. Um, but other ones don't. So this is how you do it. This is probably the best method I've come across. And uh, as I say, you can do it in Windows. It's it's a very cheap item. I think I paid um, to have it on two or three computers. I think it was three computers for it was about eight quid English money. Um, and it's I'll I'll, uh, I'll just do that when you go to the website if you're interested. Don't be put off by the website. It's not the best in the world, um, but it's it's functional. It does what it does, and uh, the program's really good. I've had it for a while, and it's not bad. So thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.